Hello and welcome to Tower Comparison of Rubbing Alcohol versus Nail Polish Remover. These two products are commonly used for different purposes, but they do have some similarities in terms of their chemical composition and ability to remove certain substances. In this video, we will be discussing the key differences between these two products, their benefits, drawbacks, and safety considerations. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Rubbing alcohol, also known as isopropyl alcohol, is a clear, colorless liquid that is commonly used as an antiseptic or disinfectant. It is a type of alcohol that is made from a combination of water and propene. On the other hand, nail polish remover is a chemical solvent that is specifically designed to remove nail polish from the nails. It typically contains acetone, which is a colorless, volatile liquid that is used in many industrial and household products. One of the main benefits of rubbing alcohol is its ability to disinfect and sanitize surfaces. It is commonly used in hospitals, clinics, and other healthcare settings to clean and sterilize medical equipment and surfaces. It can also be used at home to disinfect surfaces such as countertops, doorknobs, and electronic devices. Another benefit of rubbing alcohol is its ability to remove certain types of stains such as ink, grease, and glue. It can also be used to remove stickers or adhesive residue from surfaces without causing damage or leaving a sticky residue behind. The main benefit of nail polish remover is its ability to remove nail polish quickly and effectively. It is specifically designed to dissolve and remove the pigments and chemicals in nail polish, making it easy to wipe away with a cotton ball or tissue. In addition, some nail polish removers also contain moisturizing agents to help prevent dryness or damage to the nails. One of the main drawbacks of rubbing alcohol is that it can be drying to the skin, especially with frequent use. It can also be irritating to the eyes, nose, and throat if inhaled in large quantities. In addition, rubbing alcohol should not be used on certain surfaces, such as leather or painted surfaces, as it can cause damage or discoloration. One of the main drawbacks of nail polish remover is that it can be harsh on the nails and cuticles if used too frequently. It can also be flammable and should be used in a well-ventilated area to avoid inhalation of fumes. In addition, some people may be allergic to the ingredients in nail polish remover, which can cause redness, itching, or other skin reactions. When using either rubbing alcohol or nail polish remover, it is important to follow proper safety precautions. This includes wearing gloves or protective clothing, using in a well-ventilated area, and avoiding contact with eyes, nose, or mouth. It is also important to keep these products out of reach of children and pets, as they can be harmful if ingested. Both rubbing alcohol and nail polish remover have their benefits and drawbacks depending on their intended use. Rubbing alcohol is great for disinfecting and sanitizing surfaces, as well as removing certain types of stains. Nail polish remover is specifically designed to remove nail polish from the nails, but can be harsh on the nails and cuticles if used too frequently. As with any chemical product, it is important to use these products safely and in accordance with their intended use. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.